Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at Google Earth within our web browser. I absolutely love Google Earth, it basically lets you explore the world in 3D. Let's go ahead and take a little look around. All you need to do is head on over to the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. Once you're on this page, you just need to simply press launch Google Earth, but you do need to have Google Chrome on your computer. Once you're within your Google Chrome web browser, you can go ahead and press launch Google Earth and it will begin to load. Once Google Earth has finished loading, this is what you will end up with, a 3D version of our world. And I must say it really is most impressive. You can now basically just zoom into wherever you want and as long as you've got the 3D option selected down in the bottom right hand corner, we can quite simply carry on going into a busy area and you will now see that everything is in 3D. If you just hold in the middle mouse button, you can just like rotate around like I am on my screen and as you can see all the trees and buildings are in 3D. I think that is just absolutely stunning. I think it, wow, you know, I think that's really cool personally. I don't know what you think. Obviously comment below, let me know what you think. I always like to read your comments. But just look at that. I know it's, the graphics isn't fantastic at the moment but it's a start and it's only going to get better. Right, you can now also just go to the left hand side of your screen and you can search for a location. You can also click on Voyager, which basically brings up another window and you can then just simply click on, for example here, your European ski resorts and go start exploring. And it will now take us to that destination, which is in Switzerland, as you can see here on the right hand side. And we can now explore around this area in 3D. I mean, look at that, look. It's even got the cliff, the mountain there. Um, yeah, the buildings at the moment in this location are still 2D, which is a shame. But like I said, it's all work in progress. But it's got every single mountain there, look, in 3D. That is just, that is really, really cool. We can now zoom back out and we can go on to our next option, which is I'm feeling lucky. If you click on that option, it will basically just take you to a random destination within the world. And it will tell you a bit about that destination on the right hand side here. We can just click on there and there's lots of information as you can see. And if we go back, we can then zoom in, have a little look around the place. As you can see, this city is all in 3D which makes it even more cool. If you do want to change it back to 2D, then you can do that down in the bottom right hand corner here. You can toggle between 2D and 3D. You can also place your little street view anywhere on a road, for example, down here, and it will then take us all the way down to the street, like that. If we now go back again, and go to the left hand side and click on the three lines, we can then go to photos. And it will now display all the photos that have been taken on the map. For example, if I zoom back in on this little city, I can click on this icon here and it will show me a photo of that street. And it just says who took the photo down in the bottom left hand corner. We can go back, we can select another place, for example, that looks nice, and there you go, look at that. That was taken at that location. And that really is it with Google Earth. It definitely is worth taking a look at if you've never used it before. I hope this video helped. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.